Hi, I'm Mermaid Grace, and this super cute bundle of kitty is Pistachio, or Stashy for short. He is a five month old domestic short haired cat, and he is my VI pet. This is VI Pets, where we meet pedigree personalities and their BFFs, Bezzy Furry Friends. I'm Jesse Ogunagweki, and the pet pals right here, right now, are Britain's number one professional free diving mermaid and million follower TikToker, Mermaid Grace. Hi! <laughs> and her domestic short haired cat, Stashy. Oh, wow, Stashy's very playful. How old is Stashy? Stashy is five months old. Oh, lovely. That's why he's so small. Yeah, Hello. <laughs> yeah, he's still quite little. And when did you first meet? Um, well, we adopted him in September and he was born in late August. We saw a message on the neighbourhood group chat saying they were looking for people to adopt some kittens. Stashy is a very fashionable cat. Yeah, and his little bow tie. It's still a little bit big for him, so he doesn't wear it most of the time. But um, we thought it'd be nice since he was being filmed that today. Lovely. Dress up for the occasion. I can tell Stashy gets treated very well. Yes, he is. We love him very much. Do you ever groom Stashy? Uh, we do brush him, yeah, but he's, um, he's still a kitten, so he doesn't need that much brushing just yet. So Grace, you are a mermaid. Yes. And Stashy is obviously a cat. Yeah, you wouldn't uh, normally put the two of us together. No. He's not a massive fan of water. He doesn't even like wet grass, but he does like my mermaid tail. So, oh. What does he like about it, do you think? Um, maybe he thinks it's a big fish. I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe that's why he loves you so much. Maybe. <laughs> and what's Stashy like around other animals? Uh, well, he was born in a house that had a dog, um, obviously his mummy cat and a snake. Um, so we're, yeah, <laughs> so we're hoping that he's going to be okay with animals because we would like to get a dog in the future. But yeah, we, we're thinking he'll be pretty confident once he gets to know anyone. What's it like living with Stashy? It's really nice, actually. Um, when I'm not out being a mermaid, <laughs> I'm working in my office at home during the week. So it's really nice to have some company. He'll sit on my lap or sit on my desk. So it's nice. And is he really playful? He is super duper playful. He is very cuddly, believe it or not. He's not acting like it today. But he will sit and cuddle with you and sleep for ages and then he will go ape around the house playing. Oh, and does Stashley have a favourite toy? He has a couple. He's got a little blue bear that he carries around the house with him and he actually really likes to play rugby. Really? Yep, he's got his little rugby ball here, actually. Is this your ball? Does it like running around? Oh, yeah. Maybe in a different life. Maybe he was an England rugby player. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> At VI Pets, we like to know all about a pet's personal preference. So, do you think that Stashy would prefer some string or a stroke? I think he'd go for string. Okay, string or stroke? String or string? It's string. Look at that. Well, you have very kindly filmed a video diary for us, a moggy vlog. Yep. So now we get to see what life is like together with Stashy and Grace. So the day will start with my partner getting up for work. He will feed Stashy at about half past eight in the morning. Stashy then comes back to me to go back to bed for about half an hour after eating his breakfast. And we have a little bit of a cuddle. He always holds on to our arms with his paws. So cute. Then I get up to start doing some work myself. Hey. I work from home so we get to spend all day together. He likes to sit on my lap and sit on my desk and he will sometimes watch cat YouTube videos on my second monitor whilst I'm typing away. You enjoying that? He'll then have his lunch at about 12.30 and he always gets half a packet of wet food and a sprinkling of dry food. Pistachio has a teddy bear that he loves. Don't you, Stashy? <laughs> and we like to attack the phone. We will have a break in the afternoon and I will try and take him for a walk on his harness. Mind your head! <laughs> Wait for me to open the door! He's a little bit afraid of going outside still. He likes being outside, but any time a person or a car walks past, he gets very frightened and hides. We've gotten this far. The furthest we've ever got is just round that corner. We saw a car and then a person, so we're back on the doorstep. 
we all sit down on the sofa in the evening. Pistachio will normally have a little bit of a nap whilst we're watching TV. He goes floppicus when he's fast asleep. There's a big shelving unit at the back of our living room that he likes to sit on top of because it's a nice high point. But then if anything too loud or too scary of a monster comes on the television, he runs over to the sofa for a bit of comfort. <laughs> and I recently found out that you're actually supposed to try and brush a cat's teeth. <laughs> He's not a massive fan of it yet, but he does like the flavour of the toothpaste. think more than 600 million cats live among humans around the world. But it's still a mystery to experts. How exactly did wild cats evolve over thousands of years into today's lovable pet friends? Originally, we thought that cats were first domesticated in Egypt around 5,000 years ago. But recent archaeology digs and new evidence shows the house cat could go back to 12,000 years ago. A domestic, short-haired cat doesn't belong to any particular breed. So you could say these kitties are the mutts of the feline world because of their vast range of markings, colours and personalities. In Britain, they are often called moggies. The wide range of sizes, shapes and temperaments we see in dogs isn't there for cats. Felines show much less variety. Dogs were bred over thousands of years for many highly specialised jobs, like herding or hunting. But cats only have two roles in the human home, companion or pest controller. And they can do both of those with their regular shape and size. Nowadays, the domestic short hair cat is one of the most common pets in the world. Meow! Grace, did you learn anything new? I did not realise that cats had been domesticated for that long, if I'm honest, but uh, Stashy's definitely still a bit wild, I think. <laughs> now it's time to find out what Grace thinks her pet has to say about her, all in the time that it takes Grace to draw her best portrait of Stashy. Are you ready, Grace? Ready as I'll ever be. Let me get a good look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Stashy, are you ready? I think so, but I'm a bit bored, so I might go for an explore. It's time for the VI Pet Portrait! Stashy, what is it like living with a mermaid? I like all the fish treats I get to eat. What do you like most about Grace? I love it when she's dressed like a mermaid. She looks like a really big fish. And I love fish, but she's too fast for me. What's your favourite toy? I really like my rugby ball and my teddy bear. Grace, how's your portrait going? It's getting there. It's getting there. That's okay. You have still a few minutes left. What would you like Grace to stop doing, Stashy? I'd like her to stop taking me to film sets. Do you not like being on a film set, Stashy? I like exploring. I don't like sitting still. I don't think you're sitting still right now. There's so much string and wire to play with, but I'm not allowed to touch it. What is the worst thing about living with a TikToker? Mummy Grace has always got her camera out, so I like to run and hide and make her chase me around the house. She can't run very fast because she ain't got no legs. I wonder if Stashy will come back if I give him some treats. Stashy, I've got some treats for you. Stashy! Hey! Stashy came back. I like treats. You like treats, yeah, I thought so. What would you like Mummy Grace to do more of? I wish Grace could play rugby with me all day instead of just three times a day. Oh no, it's not enough three times, it's not enough, is it? No. And very important last question, Stashy. What would you like to tell Grace? I'd really like to say thank you, Grace, for changing my litter tray every day, even when I've only just been. Okay, I think it's time to reveal the VI Pet Portraits. <laughs> Grace, are you ready? Yeah, I did his, um, I did his forehead marking upside down. <laughs> They're on my no, round. that's really good. It's meant to be an otherwise triangle. Stashy, what do you think of the portrait? Yeah, try again. Oh, I think it's really good. I love what you've done there. I like that you've got the bow in as yeah. well. His little bow tie. I hate that bow tie. I think if you ever decide to quit being a mermaid, you've always got your illustration. I won't uh, hold my breath on that one. <laughs> oh, it's been such a big pleasure having you today, Stashy, wherever you've gone. He's off hiding. <laughs> and thank you so much for coming in too. No worries, thank you for having me. And thank you for watching. 
Don't forget to check out loads more VI Pets and all our other videos on the BBC Earth Kids channel.